Hi, Assalamualaikum. Someone asked me about how to calibrate an oscilloscope. Hmm, I'm wondering how. Come, we learn together how to calibrate the oscilloscope. Come. Hi, we meet again. Before we go furthermore on oscilloscope, how about we learn first the basic about this oscilloscope. First of all, this oscilloscope, the GOS 622G oscilloscope consists of display and control panel. Okay, let's let us together learn about uh, what the button, the knob consists on the control panel. Okay, guys, on the control panel part, we have the vote per division knob. We also have the time per division knob, which is the vote per division knob are uh, used to control the vote, the amplitude of the signal. And the time per division knob are uh, control the time per division on your display. My dear students, we also have on the control panel the vertical position knob, the horizontal position knob, the trigger hold off and levels. We also have the variable knobs, variance knobs, and, and the source selecting switch. Okay, let us together start using this oscilloscope. What you all need to know one on one. First of all, we need a probe, and of course, an oscilloscope. First of all, connect the prop to which source you like to do the calibration. If let's say you like to do the calibration on the channel 1 source, so we put this prop to the channel 1. Okay. Huh. Don't forget guys, switch on the power supply. <laughs> Okay, then we select the source to the channel 1. Okay, then by using vote per division knob, we adjust it to 0 0.5 vote per divisions. We adjust the time per division to 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Then we try to adjust the variance okay by using the position knob we can control the position vertically for your waveform okay so it seems like this waveform are too big so by using the variance knob here we minimize the waveform to get the one division two division three division four divisions uh, vertically 0.5 It seems now we have the 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 division vertically for your waveform. So it seems that when you have the 4 vertical division, you accomplish to, ca uh, to calibrate this oscilloscope, which is on this oscilloscope, we need to achieve the 2 V peak to peak waveform. And here we have the 
2, V peak to peak. 1, 2, 3, 4. Multiply by 0 0.5 volt per division. So we get that 2 volt V peak to peak. Guys, before we forget, what is used? What, what are the use of this intensity but knob and this focus knob? Don't be forget this intensity knob are used when we want to have to control the brightness of your waveform. See the effect when we varies the intensity knobs and the focus knob here are purposely to control the sharpness of our waveforms. Guys, it's so easy when we know how. Hi, perhaps when you achieve to calibrate the channel 1, maybe we should try how to calibrate the channel 2. Are they still the same setting or how? Come, how we want to calibrate the channel 2? It's so easy. We change our probe to channel to source. Okay. Then make sure adders our source is selected to the channel 2 or we switch on the trigger alternate switch. Then Sure that we select the channel 2 mode to have the signal on the channel 2. Then try adjust the volt per division to 0 0.5. Hmm, where the signals go? Oh, now by using the vertical positioning knob, we adjust it to get to the center as possible and to achieve the 2 V P to peak we need to have the 4 division vertically so by using the variance on the channel 2 we adjust the variance to achieve the 4 V peak to peak haha -ha! 1 division 2 division, 3 division, 4 division, a little bit, success, 4 division, and we get that to 2 VP to pick as needed on the calibration value, 4 division times by 0 0.5 volt per division, we have there 2 volt per division, 2 VP to P, success. Hi, it's so easy when we know how. For that, let's us so far we have learned about how to calibrate our oscilloscope. For that, let us together test our understanding on how to, uh, to calibrate this oscilloscope. I need a volunteer for that. Come, our friends, try to do the calibration. Hi, Assalamualaikum. Okay, the first step. Okay, we need to put the prop to the channel source that we want to use. Okay, for example, I use uh, choose a channel one. Okay, good. Okay, I put the prop to the channel one. Good. Okay, after that. Okay, I take a prop and touch to the test point. Very good. Okay, for the, uh, at this test point. For the calibration test point, the waveform should be 2 volt peak to peak and 2 kilohertz frequency. Okay, and then I uh, focus, I adjust the intensity control and also the focus control. Adjust the volt division to 0 0.5. 
Okay, and then uh, I see the waveform here. It adjusts the vertical position. Okay, I, ca I can see this uh, four vertical, one, two, three, four times with uh, 0 0.5 volt per division. Okay, and I get two volt peak to peak. Okay, for the frequency. Okay, um, I use 0 0.5 millisecond, millisecond for the time division. Okay, and then I times for one cycle. Okay, one, two. Okay, at two division times with 0 0.5 millisecond, I get one millisecond. And then uh, to get the frequency, use the formula once over times, and I can get two kilohertz frequency. Okay, that's all. Nice, very good. Well done. Congratulations. Thank Seems you. you understand now, huh?